Hey there, welcome back to another Ecom Dudes video. Really excited because today we're actually gonna be talking about the Audience Insight tool. And as you may know, if you are currently doing anything in e-commerce, Facebook is a huge part of this. So what I'm gonna be doing is actually diving into the Audience Insight tool and showing you exactly what you need to be doing for your research. Now the research is the most important part of everything you're doing inside of e-commerce because your research is the basis, the foundation. It's almost like building a house. You can't just build a house in midair, right? You have to have a foundation and you actually have to build onto that foundation. Same thing with e-commerce, right? So essentially, your store is pretty much the house, but again, you, you have a house just floating in midair, you need a foundation. The research is exactly what we're gonna be talking about using the Audience Insight tool as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead into my computer right now and uh, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the Audience Insight tool and how to utilize it to maximum potential. So what I'm gonna be doing for you right here is I'm actually gonna be giving you an inside look at the recent coach that we brought on, Ben Malol, and this was literally posted by a customer who literally watched the Insight, uh, the Insight tool video that Ben created. It's, it's about an hour long and I'm going to be showing you just the first 10 minutes so you can understand, 10-15 minutes so you can understand what goes on. But essentially he watched the entire thing an hour long and um, again, there's a lot of stuff that goes into Audience Insights. It's not just very blatant, cut and dry. Ben really explains how to use Audience Insights to the max potential. Now what happens if you want to watch the rest of the 40 minutes? Uh, that video is inside the Ecom Dudes Academy members area for you to go ahead and watch. So uh, if we go over to ecomdudes.com slash academy, right? And I'm, I'm actually going to just go to the dashboard page over here, okay? So what you're going to be able to go ahead and do, whoops. What you can go and do, oh goodness, I can't believe I just closed out of that. But here you go. Welcome to Ecom Dude. Stand us over here. Real All right, and you can go scroll down to coaches, take a look at Ben, and his very first video that we have is literally 55 minutes long. You're gonna be able to watch the first 15 minutes right now. Um, so again, there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know, but if you wanna go ahead and access the full video, you can inside the Ecom Dudes Academy. This is more of a members only video, um, but I'm releasing just a little bit of a, a snippet to you because I truly do believe this is something uh, that it will really help you in the long term. So without me going ahead and rambling on, I'm gonna share with you exactly what Ben gave to me and is inside the Ecom Dudes Academy. So go ahead, take a look and enjoy the entire video. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ben Malal here. Thanks for joining me in this video. I'm really grateful for that. Now basically what we're gonna go through here today is really how to find the buyers in your niche, how to find the audiences, the interests that consists of people that are more likely to convert, okay? I don't know if you know this, but most of the time, most of the money that you're spending on ads and in your niche, if you don't really have a very good understanding on how the whole system works and how all the audiences work, you might be spending a lot of money on junk traffic and traffic that isn't really converting and people that aren't really doing anything with your ads. So what I'm gonna go through here today is really how to find the people that are more likely to buy, more likely to convert. Now what I have uh, in front of me is the Audience Insights. I'm pretty sure 99% of you know this tool because this tool is basically the, whole, the only thing you're gonna use when you're researching about niche niches. If, if you don't know what it is, I'll really I'll just go over it um, uh, in, uh, for a second. So basically it's a tool that you, you put the audiences, you put your niches here, and it tells you how much the percentage of each one of the uh, genders and how big the audience is and what, uh, what the people that are in the, in the audience really, really into. So if I say, let's say, um, just for example, Harry Potter, Okay, and this is a very, very broad audience. I'm already telling you that. This is not something I would target. So this is 10 to 15 million people, 68% women, 32% men, ages 18 to 24, 50% of them, about 15% of them. And as the ages go older, less and less people like Harry Potter, pretty obvious. And the thing people like, the people, the thing people that like this um, interest like in general are first of all, the author JK Rowling, and uh, some kind of blog, Dory Squirt Nemo or Brua, I don't really know. I know this is from uh, Nemo, it's from Finding Nemo. Emma Watson, Taylor, that's the Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Just, just for um, a quick example, you can see already that this is not a really good audience because 
you want to find you want to see um, things here that are related as much as possible to Harry Potter if it isn't related as much as possible to Harry Potter you're gonna get a lot of people that aren't really interested in um, Harry Potter they might be you know because basically we all know who Harry Potter is you might even one of you uh, a lot of you might be in this audience just because you might have liked something um, related to Harry Potter so that's why this is not a really good audience to target so that's the audience insights you can get check the you can check states now we're all on uh, all of United States me personally I only target the USA until I start to scale and then I go to other first world countries so we're gonna take the United States for example okay so let's begin basically the first thing I do before I go into any niche before I start to research my audiences before I start to re research my buyers in my audience I do uh, a table um, a chart this is what I go through now each audience is basically divided each audience that you're gonna find is divided into a category some sort of category okay it might be a website it might be a magazine it might be a person it might be a blog it might be a store it might be some sort of tool it might be a movie there's a lot a lot a lot a lot of categories now you want to be really organized and know what you tar what you are targeting what what um, is basically the um, category in which you're going for. What do I mean by that? First of all, I open a, a Word or an Excel or anything that I can write down and do like a nice table like this, and I write down four main categories. First category is usually websites information. Now websites information, what do I mean by that? I mean any any um, audience that is basically a website or an information source anything that basically gives out free value free content something that is a uh, maybe a blog or it's maybe just like guides or anything that basically just gives out free content that's the first category any interest that we're gonna find if it's a website or an information source we're gonna write it uh, underneath this category Second one is magazines subscriptions. Now, what do I mean by magazines subscription? I mean anything that basically people are spending money on to be subscribed to some sort of um, value source. So if it's, let's say, a cooking magazine, which they pay $20 a month for and they get in the mail um, the specific cooking magazine each month. Already, these people have a much stronger buyer's intent than, let's say, people that are interested only in websites and information, because these people are already spending money in the niche. You understand that? Because if somebody is already spending money in the niche, they are more likely, a lot more likely, to buy from you. Okay. Now, the third category is stores. Okay. Now, the stores and magazines subscription is really, really related. Because in stores, first of all, as well, people buy things. People spend money on their passion, on their um, hobby, or whatever it is. They already have a buyer's intent, which means that they're already ready, a lot more ready to buy from you. Now, I like ma I like people underneath magazines and subscription more than stores, because stores are sometimes a lot of people they just um, they just you know look into the stores. They, sometimes they don't really buy but um as well it's a really really strong category okay now the fourth category is celebrities personas now what do i mean by that basically any known figure in the industry any known personality like gordon ramsay in the cooking niche like lady gaga in the music industry uh, like eric clapton in um, the rock industry anybody that is really known in the specific niche now this category are more people that are more likely to engage people that are more likely to comment share like your posts because they're really into you know the whole trends and they're really into the media you know they might be watching a lot of television they read a lot on the uh, on the internet basically just raving fans they aren't strong in buyer's intent like the magazines and, subs and, uh, and stores categories, 
but they're really, really good if you're starting to build up your niche, if you're starting to build up your audiences. Because people from this category are just more likely to engage in what you send them. Now, after we've got the four categories, we're going to start to go into the audience insights and really, really dive into it. So let's take, for example, we'll go with the fishing niche. Okay. Now, I usually start really, really broad just to understand what I'm, um, what I'm going into. I usually do not target the fishing, the f just like um, a general broad audience like that, because it's usually scattered in a lot, a lot of different audiences, people that like a lot of different things, because just going on fishing, you can find just, you know, like a grandma that, that uh, her son might like fishing because it's really, really, really broad. You don't want to target those people. I'll show you what I mean by that. Now this is really, really important. Each time you search for a certain interest or an audience, we go to page likes, first of all. Now, as you can see, this has 20 to 25 million active people, which already tells you that it's really, really, really big. And usually audiences this big aren't really uh, specific. Now, the first thing I do when looking for good audiences is that we really, really want to see that what I'm searching for is related to the niche. Here you can really find what if it's basically specific into the niche or it's more broader and not people that are really into it. So I start to really just open all these tabs, all these links, okay? Basically what this tells you is what people that are interested in this like. So people that are interested in this interest are interested in this, 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 and all of these and etc etc so I open Apple Creek okay let's open Bass and I'll open a few more and we can start seeing okay so I got here sports league fishing league okay that's already good that's already something that's pretty pretty specific because it's related to the fishing let's see this is what well, this is bull riding i think professional bro riders yeah so you see this is already something that's not even remotely related to fishing white line heavier um this seems like a hunting page yeah so fishing is some some kind of hunting i'll agree on that but we don't want just to target people that are in hunting in general we want to target people that are really into fishing so this shows us that people that are into the fishing aren't really strong specifically into the fishing apple creek hunting and fishing okay we're getting closer bass um bass master okay this is related to fishing deer and deer hunting hunting again ugly stick oh yeah i think i know this this one is uh i think it's a hunting yeah this is a hunting and fishing story if i'm not mistaken I love trucks. <laughs> okay, bow hunting. As I, as I open more and more tabs, you can see that about seventy percent, if not eighty percent, of all these pages aren't specifically related to fishing. So that shows you that if you're gonna target this audience, you're not really gonna target raving fans. You're gonna target broad people that some of them are into fishing some of them are into hunting and some of them are into trucks so that's not good so we're gonna start to um, see how we can really dial into that niche what I like to do is I really like to find magazines I like to find um, websites I like to find stores so let's start with just doing a quick Google search of, of fishing magazines okay Now let's see, uh, what's this top 10 fishing magazines? That's a good place to start. You really wanna find these um, sources on the internet to really start to see where we can start targeting. Now these are basically fishing magazines, I assume, of course. And we're just going to start to just copy paste them and see where we can get with them in the audience insights. Okay, so let's remove that. Field and stream. Oh, okay, see this one. 1 to 1.5 million. 
Perfect, that's already something that's more specific. So we're gonna start to open up like I did before and see if we're getting pretty close to people that are related to fishing. Let's see. Cemetery stands. Mm, outdoors. Hunting again. Not that good. Hunting, hunting and fishing, retail and consumer hunting. Yeah, I already, I already have a feeling about this magazine. It's not, it's the this audience isn't really strong on the fishing niche. So we're just gonna go on ahead and go to the next one. Outdoor life covering fishing hunting. Let's just read about them. Bassmaster strives to be an expert in the world of bass fighting advice. Okay, I think this one is pretty specific on on um, fishing, so let's check that. Best Master Magazine. Okay, no, that's too small. You always want to go with at least, at least, at least 20K. Okay, Florida Sportsman, uh, Florida Hunting and Fishing Needs. Again, Hunting and Fishing. Sport Fishing. Let's see if we can find anything with Sport Fishing. Sport fishing magazine. Okay, seventy to eighty thousand. Excellent. That's already something. Now again, we're gonna start to open up these um, categories and see where we can get to. Florida sport fishing. Okay. G A F F magazine. I already have a good feeling. I think about this one. I might be wrong. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this already shows you this this page is related to fishing, sports, sport fishing magazine related to fishing, saltwater sports sportsman related to fishing. You can see the hook, you can see the fish, you can already see that it's related to fishing. Even you can see somebody here with a fishing boat. Marlin magazine, fishing, old salt. Excellent. Anyway, as you can see, we got here a really good audience that we can target. So that's already something we're going to write down. Sports, sport fishing magazine. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it under the magazine subscription. Now, there is a difference between just like a magazine and a magazine subscription. So we're going to check that if this is a really if this is an actual subscription service. So we're just gonna do a quick Google search of their website and see what we can find. Sport fishing, fishing modes. Okay, let's see what happens when I do subscribe. As you can see, this is an actual magazine that you subscribe to and pay ten dollars $10 an year. It doesn't matter really how much money. I, I really don't care the amount of money. Of course, the more the better. But as long as they are already spending uh, even a dollar a year, they're already a lot more buyers intent than any other person, okay? Because they already opened their wallet. There's something in sales that's called basically opening the wallet that once somebody spends some sort of amount of money on something, they are more likely to buy the next product. That's why we like to, um, in our stores, we like to sell something pretty cheap, maybe a free plus shipping offer, or maybe something that's just like $5, $7, and then upsell them on something that's uh, more expensive, you know, in the 20 to $30 range. Because once they open their wallet and really decide to put that um, few dollars in the beginning, they are much, much more likely to buy your uh, higher ticket item. Anyway, so we're gonna put that under the magazine subscription, sport fishing magazine. Excellent. Now here's another thing that I usually like to do. After I find a good one, a good audience, I usually start to really check what we have here. Okay? Because these are, some of them at least, are going to be interests as well. Some of them are not, but most of them are. So I'm just going to start to open a lot, a lot of them and First of all, I want to be sure that what I'm checking in the interests are related to fishing. Okay, so I already checked all of these and these are really related to fishing. And now I'm just going to start to write down 
just these magazines and see where I can get to. Jeff Magazine, see, excellent, 60 to 70,000 monthly active people. And again, we have a lot, a lot of pages. Now, mo a lot of these are already open here because it's related to the, uh, to the former interest I investigated. But I'm just gonna start to open some random pages and see, first of all, one, how related this is to phishing, and second of all, if I can find more interests. So I hope you learned a lot with this Audience Insight tool. It's absolutely incredible. So what I highly encourage you to do right now is just check out the Ecom Dudes blog at ecomdudes.com because we have a lot of articles up there on how you can go ahead and generate traffic using influencers, Facebook ads, and pretty much a case study as well that we went ahead and ran. So what I encourage you to do is take a look in the description, uh, head over to the blog. The blog is 100% free. You can learn a lot of information on there as well. So go ahead, go to the blog, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this because I'm going to go ahead and continue with all this content. If we hit uh, 50 thumbs up on this video, what I'm going to be doing is releasing a whole slew of series out there, and uh, you're, you're really going to enjoy everything that we're going to be doing with the whole targeting section. So again, give this video a like, comment if you liked it as well, give me your feedback, and check out the Ecom Dudes blog at ecomdudes.com. I'll catch you soon.